So today we're going to be talking about a nerve fiber layer hemorrhage. And that nerve fiber layer hemorrhage is sometimes referred to as a trans hemorrhage. It's right on the disc in the parapapillary region. It's nerve fiber layer in its distribution. And that's because the nerve fiber layer has that distribution. And so if we see edema plus a nerve fiber layer hemorrhage, that really is not that specific. Once you have the edema of the disc and that nerve fiber layer hemorrhage, that could be non-arteritic or arteritic AION, more commonly non-arteritic. However, any cause of papillitis is going to cause a focal hemorrhage in that location. The reason we end up with a neurop is people mistake this hemorrhage for indication of uh, optic neuropathy from neurop when in reality, if there's no edema, you really shouldn't be thinking about glaucoma. So glaucoma, as you know, we really don't know what causes primary open angle glaucoma. The two main competing theories are mechanical and ischemic. Mechanical, of course, because of the increased intraocular pressure and the ischemic, some people believe that primary open angle glaucoma is a chronic form of ischemic optic neuropathy related to but not directly caused by increased intraocular pressure. It doesn't matter because the significance of a focal nerve fiber layer hemorrhage in the absence of edema should really be making you think glaucoma even if the intraocular pressure is normal. And in fact, a lot of these hemorrhages occur in normal tension glaucoma patients. So that's how it ends up with me. Their pressure is normal. They have a field defect. Someone saw the hemorrhage and they're thinking, well, maybe it's an optic neuropathy, but really the optic neuropathy you should be thinking about yeah. in the trans hemorrhage where there's no edema is glaucoma.